Hello and welcome to this video where we will use the filter function of Excel to return results where only one condition is met and it must only be the one condition. In this example, we have some individuals who had the opportunity to attend a couple of workshops. What we want to know in our analysis is who only attended one. We are going to return their names into column F. So in cell F2, if I start the filter function, and I want to return just the names of the individuals. The comma puts us into this criteria section. We have two criterion. I need to test each workshop column. So in a set of brackets, I will test if the first workshop column is not equal to empty. So it has something in that column. There was an attendance, close bracket. And then here is the difference. What I want to use is the minus symbol. By using that, we are going to ensure that only one of these conditions is met. Let me just put in the second condition and we will look into this in a bit more detail and explain what's going on. So this second workshop also not equal to emptiness. Close that bracket and I'll also close the bracket for filter and not worry about the optional if empty argument. If I press enter, it correctly returns the names of those who attended only one. We can see there are five. And just to show this in action, if I enter a date for Rachel, if I put in today's date and press enter, Rachel is removed from that list because she attended two and not one. So coming back to the formula, this all works because of the minus operation here. If I change that to plus, which many of you may know is the OR operator, then running this returns a lot more names. In fact, it returns everybody except Jason. Jason's the only one who didn't attend either workshop. And with OR logic, as long as you meet one or more conditions, then that's a true. But we want to make sure it is only one. It must be one and only one. And a nice way of doing that in filter, as demonstrated, is using the minus sign. Now, how does this work? Well, if I select that and click formulas, calculate now, I can see the results of that array. And we can see the true where it's not empty and the false where it is. If I then do the same for the second condition here, I can see the results of that. Now, the moment those two are multiplied together, those two arrays, the true and the true will negate themselves. They will be converted to one, one minus one is zero, therefore it's false. Yet in the second one of that array, where we have Andreas, false and a true, zero and a one, zero take away one is minus one, and any value except zero evaluates to true. So by using the minus sign, this works for us. It only works if we have two columns. If we had three or more, then we'd have to consider a different approach, which would probably require adding another column to our table using maybe count ifs to ensure that only one meets the criteria and then running the filter on the results of that count ifs. I'll press escape to come out of that formula and not keep those evaluations. But I thought that would be a nice quick video for today. It's quite a niche example, a scenario such as this, but that might be exactly what you're after. I hope you too find this video useful. Please subscribe to receive the latest videos at this channel. Take care and bye for now.